I got invited by Meta and I have some big announcements coming up. A few weeks ago Meta launched the Quest 3 and this is a big game changer for all of us. But why is it such a huge deal? Well, this is what today's video is about. Prior to the launch, Meta invited me to the office to, yeah, first of all, do some feedback sessions with the newest features on the Quest 3, but of course also to make some cool content for you guys regarding the full body tracking. But first of all, let's talk about how the full body tracking or more accurate, the generative legs actually work. The Quest 3 is not actually tracking the legs, it is an AI based estimation based on the upper body. There are two different systems that Meta created for estimating the legs. So first of all there is the three point tracking which uses your head and your hands to build an estimated um, yeah, leg tracking in quotes. And that works on the Quest 2, on the Quest Pro and on the Quest 3 which is pretty awesome that actually they have the um, backward support for the older devices, so really cool actually. And the other system, the IOBT, which stands for Inside Out Body Tracking, is also using the cameras that are on the Quest 3 to kind of like get a much, much better representation of the body and then also estimating the legs. Again, very simplified of course, I can also make a dedicated video if that is something you're into, so let me know how much into detail you want me to go. But in this video, we will talk about and we will also showcase the three points System. So even if you don't have a Quest 3, you can definitely use all of these features as well. So you should also find value on this video. And at the end of the video, we talk about some amazing new use cases that these new features allow you because we will also combine the full body tracking with the full color pass through and just that combination is so, so, so amazing. You will love the video. I think this is just changing our industry in many, many interesting ways. It opens up a lot of new interesting use cases for really like full creative expression like just having these two features alone already and then there's even more and uh, that just allows us to create so 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 many cool things and that is also something we will talk about at the end of this video so let's pack our stuff and let's take a visit to meta so now we are ready to go to meta hello flavio and jad over there we are super excited let's see i mean i already know what we are going to talk about but you will find out if you keep watching the video. All right, here we are. So as you can see, that is uh, myself. I can see myself here, do some cool movements, but let's do the moment we have all been waiting for. First of all, quick disclaimer, I don't have anything on my body. As you can see, it's like all empty. No trackers, nothing. And let me do a squat. And this works pretty well. You see like my arms up, my arms down. Ah, this is really cool. Now let's actually walk around a little bit just to show you some of these cool demos and walk backwards. Kind of like a moonwalk thing going on over here. And we see like the movement is pretty smooth. I mean, it's not perfect, of course, and there are some limitations here. So for example, if I now take my leg and move it up, it's not gonna track it because it's using the three point system in this case. So the headset and the controllers to estimate how the legs are with AI and everything. And um, so there are two ways. There's the IOBT, so the inside out body tracking, which uses the cameras to really get a much, much, much more accurate representation on the Quest 3 and on the Quest Pro. But what we have right now, which also works on the Quest 2, is the three point tracking. So the head and the hands and that with the body and everything, it estimates how the legs should be. And yeah, I can go pretty close. It's already kind of like scary and I can give myself like a fist bump. So it's pretty cool actually, it works really well. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of like test it out. Like, so I, do, like, I can even jump by the way. So this is really cool. And if I would ever do that jump. And just like, I can do some like these things as well. So, as you can see, we can already get kind of like um, on a good physical level. Another thing I want to talk about is the pass-through, which is amazing, by the way. So, I mean, I'm in the uh, in the environment already and it, it works pretty well. I mean, if we have just some shadows over here, that would blend in with this environment amazingly. And I'm really positively overwhelmed how cool this is. And I think like mixing the full body tracking and the pass-through can be a game changer to so many applications. And Kind of over exaggerating my movement over here so you can get some good feeling as well and you see like how great this is actually working i can even i should not go too close it's kind of creepy <laughs> so 
you can see so this is like working pretty well and uh, this of course you see this of course enables us to do a ton of new use cases all right so here i am and you can see me like moving and walking around already and this is an excellent use case of the um, full body tracking so this is again like just these three points it's just my headset and the controllers at the moment and it's still working which is pretty awesome and the most important thing that means it works for the quest 2 but let's not talk too much and let's get started so i have to dodge the red balls and uh, and punch whoa the the blue balls so you can see this one i have to dodge and uh okay let me see oh my god so this so this is actually pretty cool i really like it it's not like some fake exercise and oh my god look man and now i can punch it Ooh. So this is so accurate it feels so cool it's a lot of fun actually <laughs> so oh my god oh and i'm too scared to jump right now okay oh my god this is gonna be hard okay i will do better now let's see okay two of them pa, pa. so i can tell you this is an, some actual exercise like you're super immersed in it because you just want to uh, get the scores so it is actually i'm not even thinking about the tech and stuff anymore oh my god can i jump Oof. okay I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> how do I, how, how the hell do we get this? Oh no. Okay. So it's actually pretty difficult, I have to say. Oof. It's a lot of fun. Okay. And there we go. And. Oof. Okay, this is gonna be increasingly difficult. Oof. I suck, guys. <laughs> All right, that was amazing, I have to tell. I was not thinking about any like uh, feature capabilities, any of these things. I was just trying not to get hit by the ball. So this was pretty amazing. What is my feedback of this? This was an incredible experience, seriously. So like the smoothness of how it worked, I was not thinking about being like in an experience trying out these new features with the full body tracking the legs and everything i was again just trying to not die basically and uh, that is a good sign so i truly believe that this new device offers a lot of amazing capabilities for a lot of new experiences again we have the whole area of mixed reality but like applications like this a whole new set of sports games interesting fitness applications with the full body tracking again you can jump around you can make something like this and we at Immersive Insiders, as you know, we are super, super dedicated to show you how to learn all of these skills. So don't be like shy away, like, hey, yeah, this is something that Meta built. But of course, we will help you to build these things as well, because we are now working with them to help you to get the most out of the presence platform, which gives you all of these capabilities to build these experiences. And uh, there's a lot of tutorials coming, a lot of new use cases we will show you. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you liked it, let us know. Thanks a ton to Meta for yeah, working with us. I think this is amazing and uh, I will catch you in the next one.